This is your WXEO Daily News Roundup for Bull Falls Radio, 98.9 FM and 1230 AM in Wausau. Pacific Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Wisconsin Republicans are stressing party unity after this weekend's state convention in Appleton. U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde. To the old guard, welcome the new guard. They bring new energy, new ideas. We need them to refresh our party. And to the new guard, be respectful of the old guard. They have worked tirelessly for this party, not only for years, but for decades. Delegates elected Terry Dittrich and Pam Travis to the Republican National Committee. Travis helped submit a false slate of electors for Donald Trump three and a half years ago. The leading Democrat in the Wisconsin Assembly says she thinks her party can take the majority this year. That would mean winning 52 seats in November. It is a big lift for us to flip 15 seats in one year. No question. Do I think we're building the infrastructure to do it and have the candidates to do it? I do. I think it's entirely possible. Representative Greta Neubauer told a Wisp Politics luncheon last week lawmakers will have to be more responsive to voters under new maps no matter who wins in November. A state representative who's running for state senate is no longer working for the Wauwatosa School District. The Journal Sentinel reports Lakeisha Meyer's departure came shortly after the school district suspended her for several reasons. The Milwaukee Democrat had come under fire for working two full-time taxpayer-funded jobs known as double-dipping. A Dodge County board member says he was never a risk to kids when he took a loaded gun with him to an elementary school in Neosho last week. Daniel Siegman was released last Thursday after spending the night in the Dodge County Jail. He's charged with felony firearm possession on school grounds. Wisconsin unemployment is down to less than 3 percent. That's more than a full percentage point under the national average. The number of jobless people statewide went down about 1,300 since last month. Investigators are trying to figure out who planted marijuana found growing on the state capitol square last week. Investigators say it was clearly planted. The plants have been removed from the flower bed and taken into evidence. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now, here's what you need to know closer to home. For WXCO News, I'm Brittany Merlot. Wausau native and Pro Football Hall of Famer Jim Otto dies at age 86. On Sunday night, the Las Vegas Raiders announced his passing. A graduate of Wausau High School in 1956, where he started as a center and linebacker under legacy head coach Wynn Brockmeyer. He went on to play pro football with the Oakland Raiders, becoming a fixture for 15 years at center. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1980 which was his first season eligible. He was believed to have undergone more than 50 operations, most of them because of football-related injuries, like multiple joint replacements, arthritis, and debilitating back and neck problems. And his right leg was amputated in 2007. Otto also had prostate cancer and two major infections after his career. Otto was a key as the Raiders became one of the best organizations in professional football, though. The number of students who have enrolled in the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, is down nearly 10 percent in Wisconsin compared to this time last year. The principal at Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School said out of his 306 seniors, only 94 have completed theirs, and lower FAFSA numbers typically indicate lower enrollment numbers in the fall. And the average adult breathes about 20,000 times each day. And for Air Quality Awareness Month, the DNR is encouraging us to make some small daily tweaks. Travel-wise, as vehicle emissions are the largest source of ozone-forming pollutants, you can walk or ride a bike at least once a week, replacing a trip by car. Regularly surface your vehicle, too, so miles are efficient. Use energy-efficient appliances at home and use window shades to block the sun and lower your energy costs. And keep your lawnmower blades sharp and grill using electric or charcoal. Veterans and military family-owned businesses have a group that can help them start and grow. Here's Shane Cannonberg of the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber. We do networking events. We have our own command post business accelerator, helping those folks to scale their business. And then we have a specific military consultant within the Small Business Development Center that works with those folks. You can learn more at wisconsinveteranschamber.org. And swimming season is practically upon us, so it's time to take the dive into drowning prevention tips. Known as the silent killer, in movies or TV, swimmers are depicted as distressed and calling for help. But that is not the case with most drownings. 
doctors say it's a 20 to 60 second fight between life and death. If young children get to reemerge, the most that they usually get is a quick breath. This is why swimming lessons are so important. Gas prices have risen nearly seven and a half cents over the last week. The average across the state today is now $3.37 per gallon. This is around two cents lower than a month ago and over 10 cents lower than this time last year. Gas Buddy predicts good news with their summer travel forecast. Prices over the next few months will stay far under record levels and should continue trending lower as we get closer to the 4th of July. Gas prices today range from $3.04 to $3.27. And travelers who want to go to the greater New York area now have a nonstop flight from Appleton International Airport to Newark. Allegiant Airlines is offering $44 one-way fares for this new route to New Jersey. The new flights operate twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. You can find tickets at Allegiant.com. And that's what you need to know. I'm Brittany Merlot for WXCO. The Brewers in Miami. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Brewers began a three-game series against the Marlins. Yesterday, the crew lost 9-4 to four in Houston. The Astros' Kyle Tucker struck out three times, then changed his shoes, ended up with a pair of home runs. Colin Ray struggled on the mound for Milwaukee, giving up four runs in the first inning. Pat Murphy. You no, know, Colin didn't. He didn't pitch great. He'd be the first to tell you that. Uh, walking people is not his gig. He can't do that. Uh, he knows that. But he's so dependable that he went back out there and kept us in the game so we didn't have to go deep in our pen. And I know he didn't pitch well. I know he didn't have command like he normally does. Brewers lefty D.L. Hall looked good in rehab with the Timber Rattlers. Three up, three down in an inning of work on Sunday. A 95-mile-an-hour fastball. NFL Packers holding OTA practice. Practices. Matt Lofler on what he hopes to learn watching the rookies work alongside the second and third year players. Well, first of all, it's just good to get them in the building to start to form a relationship with these guys and find out what they're all about and try to push them to be their best. And But just you want to see everything they do from the meeting room to on the field and, you know, how they compete. That's Packers head coach Matt Lafleur with Sports. I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Prime Video's Fallout is a multi-billionaire when it comes to minutes. Prime says the video game-based show was viewed for 2.6 billion minutes in its second week, just a 10% drop from its opening week, making it Prime's most viewed show ever, according to Yahoo Entertainment. Other shows in the top five for the week of April 15th through the 21st are Unlocked, A Jail Experience, Baby Reindeer, Shogun, and The Circle. So much content, so little time. Sure, signing up for a website that makes it easy to cheat on your spouse might sound like a good idea until you become a victim of the biggest data breach in history and find yourself in a Netflix documentary. Ashley Madison's Sex, Lies, and Scandal tells the story of how the site was rolling in cash until an employee decided to release the private information of 30 million users, many of them reality TV stars and politicians. Incidentally, the hacker responsible has never been caught and should probably lay low, as a lot of people probably have a bone to pick. Billy Zane is playing Marlon Brando in a new biopic called Waltzing with Brando. The film debuted at the Cannes Film Festival and is based on Bernard Judge's memoir, Waltzing with Brando, Planning a Paradise in Tahiti. Judge was recruited by the actor to design the first ecologically perfect retreat for the island Brando purchased in the South Pacific in the 60s. Brando most famously portrayed Vito Corleone in The Godfather and is a two-time Oscar winner. To combat the lack of original ideas coming from showbiz, this is the age of the reboot. The latest rebooting will be from TBS as they've announced a new version of Dinner in a Movie. The network says the reboot is due in part to a lack of material thanks to the writers and actors' strike last year so they are hoping more people will want to watch movies in their home. The original show was hosted by Paul Gilmartin and aired from 1995 to 2011. The reboot will be hosted by Jenny Mullen and American Pie's Jason Biggs. Just don't let him near the baked goods. It's a case of real life imitating art, or the fall guy. The Hollywood Reporter says Chris Pratt is mourning the loss of his longtime stunt double. Tony McFar performed stunts in Pratt movies like Jurassic Park and Guardians of the Galaxy. The 47-year-old McFarr died unexpectedly last Monday and was found at his home in Florida. Pratt released a quote saying he was devastated to hear about the loss of his friend and former stunt double. In breaking news from 1948, oops, my bad, it was actually May 11th of this year where Harrison Butker, kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, gave a commencement speech at Benedictine College many felt was demeaning to women. To put it in kicker terms, it was a real double doink. The NFL, which says they are all about inclusion, unless your name is Colin Kaepernick, condemned the speech, but it was actually the Los Angeles Chargers social media team for the win. 
At the end of the video they released regarding the NFL schedule, the team showed a sim of Butker doing domestic work, like wiping counters, baking a pie, and doing dishes. By the looks of it, he would have made a great wife for someone like himself. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible today with a high of 69 this afternoon. Tonight, a few showers, 57 tomorrow. More rain and thunderstorms likely, and there could be some heavy rain at times uh, from tomorrow through tomorrow night. An inch or more possible, our high tomorrow, 72. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 55. That's your WXCO Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at bullfallsradio.com.